Hi, it's Mike Jackman from OTV Online Media and also go to myvideo.com and gopropresentations.com. Today I'm going to show you a trick that I've been using for years. It's how to use Outlook Express email as your HTML editor and how to uh, create a very dynamic graphic email signature using this and using some pictures online. Now, what you want to do to, to uh, start this process and don't let all that all those big buzzwords fool you it's a very simple process once you see it and hopefully you'll be using it as long as I have what you want to do is start by creating a new email okay and when you when you create the new email you want to start with a blank page so here you see my default uh, email you want to just delete all that if you have a default email just just delete it and start with a clean slate make sure you're up in the top left hand corner and a couple important components of Outlook Express is the HTML factor and you can tell it's in HTML mode by edit source and preview tabs down here at the bottom if you don't see that in your Outlook Express you want to go up to view and you want to click on source edit I just clicked it off because I already have mine on so go to view click on source edit and you'll be going back and forth to see what you're what you're working on but it's very easy most of the time we're gonna spend in, in this mode here uh, in the edit mode now, if you want to use a picture uh, in your signature, it has to come from online because you don't want to use, send, send large pictures in the signature component of your email. First of all, most, most signature clients or email clients won't allow you to do that anyway. So here's how the little trick that I learned to put a large picture into the signature of your email. You're going to start off by just selecting any picture on your hard drive. It doesn't matter what it is. I'll put my logo in here that's on my desktop. Okay, there it is. Now that's real big. I don't want to even use that. But I want to use this as a placeholder for the picture that I really want to put in there. And now we're going to go up to a website where there's a picture that I want to use. And I just basically switched off my email so you can see this. I right click on the picture. Okay, so that once I, I want get the use, picture that I want online. to use that's online, I want to view the image information and where this picture is stored online and when it's I want to take that and copy that address and here's how you find it you right click on on the image okay and I'm using Firefox so Firefox does it a little bit differently it'll it'll have uh, view image info most of the, you you guys out there will be using Internet Explorer and it'll just have properties so you want to click on the properties of it or if you're in Firefox view image info and a box will open up and what you want to do is find the location of this picture and highlight it in blue so now I have this the exact address and website where this picture is being hosted and it should end in a JPEG or a GIF file most likely a PNG file right here at the end I want to right click on it after I have it highlighted in blue and click copy okay and that's all you do then you can close out of that now that's on my my clipboard and I have that now I'm back to my email editor right so now that I'm in in my email editor there's my picture I'm gonna replace the address that I just copied online with this picture that's on my hard drive and here's how you do that first of all I'm gonna shrink this up a little bit so you can see this the edit buttons and I'm going to source okay now what this is when I click on source it's just a representation of the code of what you're looking at on the screen here so there's really only one picture on this screen so if I click source all of this code is representing that one picture most of the pictures most of the hard drives that people are using are C drives so you want to look for the C drive and you want to click so you're you're highlighting right before the parentheses okay so you're gonna click that and you're gonna highlight the entire image file and you're going to stop at the other parentheses. Now, my logo is called OTV logo large dot gif, and at the gif or JPEG is where you want to stop. You want to hit the Control button at, after that is highlighted. Hit the Control V. And what I just did here by hitting Control V is I replaced that image location with an online URL this is the image that's online and to prove that if I go back to edit there's my image what this source is doing is it's taking a creating a little window inside of my email client to that online destination that we just copied a few minutes ago 
So go back to edit and there is my picture that's online. Now to, to make it even easier I want to link this to a page and you just click the link that's highlighted in blue and you can put any website address that you want and it's as simple as that click OK and now you have an image in here that is clickable and I can enter text I can push this down and you can create any type of marketing HTML graphic signature that you want so I might just put Mike Jackman and test okay so now let's save this this is the other part. You want to go to save file, save as, and this is where this is the important part. Let's save it to documents. Right here, instead of email, you want to save it to HTM or HTML. That's the critical component. It's, it's as a default, it's an email, right? But in Outlook Express, you can actually save your emails as HTML files. So save it as an HTML file in my documents and we have to name it uh, Rick's test to email sig now wherever you save this file you cannot move it if you're gonna use it as an email signature so if I save it in my documents I have to keep it there okay so it's important to pick a folder or file that you know that you're not going to move around alright but since this is the test I'll just save it in my documents so I can find it easy and remember what you named it Rick's test to email sig all right, so there it is. So I can lower that and I bring up my email. And now the second component is tools, options. So let's create a new signature with the HTML file that we just created. What you want to do is when you're in your options box, go to new, click on this and rename it. Let's rename it to Rick's Sig 2 and you can either do a text but we want to do the HTML file that we just created so click on file click on browse and remember we saved it in here to my documents but we don't see it anywhere in here and this is the third critical component it's auto automatically defaulted as text file you want to click on HTML and when you click on HTML it automatically pops up so click on open and it will all, uh, populate the line here so you know it's in there and there's Rick's click apply and click OK alright now let's test this well, it starts off with my default but we can get rid of that and the drop down list for your signature there it is Rick Sig boom it's right there and it's linked now I know I have a typo in here from before but now that will go to any uh, website address that I want to link to it and you can have multiple signatures with text and graphics and when something comes in you can just reply and click a sig now it's going to be too long now because I have too many signatures in here but you can use it to populate your emails and it's as simple as that so use this tool you can put in multiple signatures create multiple signatures and basically create very quick graphic messages if you have a, a number of people that contact you on a daily basis and you have a standard response towards them, you can use signatures to respond to their, to their emails that way. Happy marketing, guys.